I hate this. Just count your blessings he's not a black pregnant lesbian in a wheelchair. George, come in. Sorry I'm late. Just a bunch of stuff to take care of before we shut down for the holiday. Take a seat. Thank you. Happy Hanukkah. Okay. <sighs> so, what's this all about? We need to talk to you about something. I'll get right to the point. You're being laid off. What? New management is making some changes in personnel. Plus, the new software will streamline a lot of things. I don't understand. You're being laid off. We told everyone weeks ago that changes were coming. Changes, sure, but getting fired? Laid yeah. off. So, will I be asked back at some point? No. Sounds like I'm getting fired. You'll be eligible to collect unemployment. It's like a paid vacation. It's like getting fired. And on Christmas Eve, no less. You're firing me on Christmas Eve? <clears throat> this is your final paycheck. It includes all of your unused vacation time. You know, I I've been here longer than anyone else. I'm the guy everyone comes to with their questions. I, 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 I practically run that back office. My efficiency, it's the highest. Four years in a row. How can I be the one getting fired? Laid off. This place, it's my whole life. Well, maybe that was a mistake. I mean, people need to have other stuff in their lives, so that it's July 31st, 2005, do you remember that day? Should I? There I am, sitting on my couch, surrounded by all my relatives, wearing that nice new suit. It's the day of my father's funeral. And then the cell phone rings. And it's this one. Phones are ringing off the hook. We need you, George. <laughs> His body wasn't even cold yet. <laughs> I swear, the things I did for this place. <laughs> Again, no one is saying you weren't efficient in your work. So why? Why, for God's sakes, am I the one losing his job? Because you're weird. We're getting rid of you because you creep everybody out. You do your job fine enough, but there's just something off about you. You're not normal. I don't know what specifically is wrong with you, and believe me, I don't want to know. Jesus. You say you've been here the longest. Didn't you ever notice that you were never promoted? I never wanted the hassle of being the boss. That's not the point. Nobody asked you, because everybody thinks you're creepy. Nobody wants you around. Jason! He wanted the truth. That's the truth. And I'll swear on a stack, I never said it. Okay. Andy from HR is outside. He's going to walk you to your desk. You will collect your personal belongings, and he will walk you out. I'm not leaving. George. I'm not leaving this chair. You'll have to call the cops and have me dragged out. George, be reasonable. I'm not leaving! Let's do it. Let's do it ugly. It's an ugly business, so let's get ugly! Has it really come to this, George? You tell me, Jason. <laughs> Go ahead, call them. I'm just gonna sit here. You see, this, this is exactly the kind of crap I would expect from this fucking- Okay! George? George? I personally looked through your severance package. I think we're giving you a very fair deal. Why don't I give you a very fair deal? I leave quietly after I hear one of you say, George, thank you for all the hard work you did. One little sentence. George, we're not jumping through your hoops. Fine, call the cops then. I will fight and I will scream and I will make a fuss. Clients visiting today are never gonna forget it. Remember that guy years ago? Psst. Cops came. Well, you really wanna burn bridges, huh? 
You've lost your job. Now you want to lose the good reference too. George, thank you for all the hard work you did. George, thank you. No, no, no! We are not giving into emotional blackmail I here. I don't work for you. George, thank you for all the hard work. See? Not so hard. Would have meant more if it had been offered voluntarily. But I'll take what I can get. What other choice do I have? We all take what we can get, George. And then some of us take a little bit more, don't we? <laughs> 